Meanwhile, back at the Pandorosa Ranch, Pandora was hatching a plan to make some chickweed salve. Come on, killer. Let's go and harvest some chickweed. All right, so the question is, why are we making chickweed salve? Well, uh, among its other medicinal uses, chickweed is very good for skin complaints, minor burns, psoriasis, eczema, etc. It is cooling, it is drying, and most importantly, it is antipruritic, which means that it stops itching. Alrighty, so the first step is to harvest some of this beautiful chickweed, Stellaria media. If you do not know how to identify this, please be sure you have the right plant because there are lookalikes that are poisonous. Um, you can look up the video I have made about the identification of chickweed. So I'm just going to pick some fresh stuff. Ideally when it hasn't rained too much because you don't want too much moisture content um, at this stage because it can make your uh, salve go moldy if there's too much water content. I just pick the little heads off it like this, leaving the roots and the plant to keep on growing. Lovely. Alrighty, so here we are in the kitchen and what we're going to do is steep the chickweed in olive oil and it should be uh, first cold pressed, ideally organic I suppose, olive oil and we're going to put that in a double boiler. Here we go, just popping that in there. This is actually a, a tea press thing that I've taken that out of, which is going to come in handy to strain it afterwards. I don't know if anybody else uses those, but I do. I shall not be stopped. There we go, that's probably enough. And we just fill it up with oil and we cover chickweed lastly alrighty now we're over here at the double boiler situation don't you love how that dialect says situation now what we're going to do is put this chickweed in a glass jug into this hot water on the stove now very importantly we do not want to boil the oil. We just want to steep it and keep it hot for some time, possibly an hour or two, and we hope to infuse the goodness of the chickweed into the oil. So you must watch that you don't overheat this. Here we go. Bubble, bubble. Well in trouble. Let's have a look how it's going. Ooh. Looking good. Look at that green goodness in the oil at the bottom there. I'm just going to keep this steeping and simmering for a while and get a really thick brew of the stuff that's in here that we need. Okay, now this has been sitting overnight after double boiling for two hours on the stove. It is very dark, so I have the top of this tea press thing, a coffee thing. And I'm going to drain that oil off into another container. Okay, just a little um, quality control concern here with these tea or coffee presses is to take them all apart first because you will find that these inner parts get very grotty with coffee and tea. Um, and for the sake of uh, sanitization or sterile tea, make sure you clean these with um, hot, hot, hot water. Uh, before you press your oil. Okay, this is a pressing moment. Press that sieve. Sieving all of the debris from the oil. And now I'm going to pour it into this beaker. Then onward in our journey, I'm going to get some beeswax. This is very good quality stuff. And I got it online on Facebook Marketplace from a lovely fellow called Gavin Lovett in Brisbane. He does some really good quality stuff. 
Now, what I'm going to do is simply grate this block of beeswax, and I'm also going to put it in this beaker, because what I want to do is start to get a sense of beeswax to oil ratio. Um, so I'm going to melt it down in that first. I might aim for, say, 50 millilitres. Yeah, you're the greatest. You don't want to overheat this. I just want to melt the wax first and get a measurement. All right, looks like the beeswax has melted beautifully in there. Now I'm going to take this beaker back over to here. Um, incidentally, I bought these uh, set of beakers, beautiful things that they are, um, on eBay very cheaply, and there's seven of them. Not one, not eight, not 26, but seven beakers. And they're good because you can measure very accurately. So I have 50 millilitres of beeswax here. Now what I want to do for my first experiment is add 50 millimetres of the chickweed infused oil. So I'm going to select this beaker here. And I'm going to pour 50 millimetres into there from the larger beaker. Perfecto. A little bit more. And then I'm going to pour that into there. Ooh, it has gone all weird. Isn't that beautiful? Now I'm going to take this back onto the double boiler to mix it all in before I pour it into a tray. Back to the double boiler with you. See how we go. All right, that's looking mixed through. Just going to give that a stir with a little chopstick. I think the oil and the beeswax are mixed together. Now what I need to know is, is it a good consistency? So I'm going to take a spoon of it, like that, just put it in this little tray. So let's just say we don't want it to be too firm, as in too much wax content, or too oily, as in not enough wax content. We'll just let that settle in the room temperature for a little while. Okay, so just testing this balm now on a bit of skin there. Now this is a matter of personal taste, but I'm thinking that, that is too firm, too waxy, such that I'm getting more wax than goodness, chickweed goodness on my skin. So I want to up the oil ante there. Um, make it a little bit greasier. So we've got 50 mils at is to 50 mil ratio, oils to wax, but I'm going to add another 25 mil of oil, so I'm, it's going to be a ratio of 1 is to 1.5 or 2 is to 3. Could be a better way of uh, expressing it. There we go. I'm going to add that to the mix back over at L stove. There we go, in you go. Same thing again, put it back on the double boiler, mix it up and then we'll test that again. There's our little brew at a ratio of two is to three, the oil being the larger portion and again We'll go through this process to check the consistency. Hmm, here we are with the ratio of 2 is to 3 at room temperature. Now I'm just going to try this again on a new bit of skin. There we go. 23 degrees in Brisbane. It's quite firm. Um, I'm thinking me I would like it a bit oilier so I'm going to add 25 mils again to this brew and that would make the whole thing a ratio of one is to two 
So twice as much oil as beeswax. Let's see how we go. And here we are again. Here is the ratio of one is to two, oil being the two part. Mm, mm -hmm. That's feeling really nice. A little bit oily, a little bit waxy. Now I need to find some skin I haven't used. Where's some skin? What do you think I'm covered in the stuff? There we go. Yeah, I'm satisfied. That is a good consistency. Many may differ, but um, I do live in a hot climate. I think if you live in a cold climate, you want a higher oil content. So, being satisfied with this ratio, I am going to pour these into wee containers. That I ordered on the internet. That are made of aluminium. That have screw lids. This is a very poignant moment. Oh, look at that. Medicine Sans Frontiers, mate. Now there's my chickweed infused oil, which I have labelled and dated. Uh, that will go into the refrigerator until such time as I can make up another batch, which will be quite soon. And here are my beautiful little tins, also labelled and dated. You can put the labels on the bottom if you want. You can put them on your bottom if you want. Who am I to judge? And there's our beautiful chickweed salve. Bloody marvellous.